Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to our Latvian homestead. Uh, we didn't do many, or mu we didn't do much videoing of the stuff that's going on over summer, but I did take some photos and, and a few bits of footage. So I just put this video together to sort of give you a, a review, I guess, of what happened over summer. Um, beginning with this footage taken from the golden hour in the morning, I went out and um, did some videoing. Some stunning scenes of the, of the sun rises. Um, into dawn so um, that's that um, the rest of the stuff will mostly be photos and um, little video clips that I took here and there of some of the things we're doing obviously the family we got to go to the beach and enjoy the, the beach which was fairly empty um, when it was hot and um, also we had lots of we had lots of heat and we had lots of rain so um, just to show you the, the mix the garden was the garden and um, we enjoyed its produce which you'll see a bit later in the video and um, we, we decided this year to net our cabbages to stop the attacks from the cabbage butterfly and that worked quite well um, we had a lot of renovations done to the house we had all the windows replaced and the door the side door here um, for triple glazing and that's already made a big difference to the way that he's, the house um, retains heat and gives us good access to the side. Um, as part of that project, we then had a load of wood delivered and that will allow us to do two or three things, which I talked about in other videos, I think, but I'm nothing specific. But on the side here with the door, we built a terrace um, using a, a ledger board system, which was attached to the house. And then we built a frame um, for the decking or, or terrace as it's sometimes called um, dropped the legs and concreted them in after they were dropped to make sure the frame was completely square and our frost line here is about 90 centimeters so that's how deep the footings are um, the wise man built his house on the rock well we've got concrete we don't have rocks as such but we certainly didn't build it on the sand and then we built um, I built the rest of the frame up and um, you can see the sort of pictures as it progressed here. I didn't take loads of photos. Made some temporary steps. Um, summer, we, we had a heat wave of, of over plus 30 for about a month. As my little helper, Nora, our daughter. She really enjoyed getting involved in, in the projects as we built them. And uh, it's good to, a good, great experience for her to do that. As well as... Um, the terrace we had other projects going on at the same time um, oh I found this um, planer which would have been used to build the house originally and we had to do some planing on some of the beams just to take out any um, notches on them so we could lay the deck down and there's kind of the finished decking and then we built the posts around and some railings and went for a crisscross railing um, design. And um, there's Gita and her mum enjoying the decking. Um, Gita and mum's um, here got some sliced marrow and then fried, shallow fried in some flour. It, it's absolutely amazing. You need to give it a go. Don't waste those marrows. Uh, of course, we enjoyed John's night with the traditional um, barbecuing of shashli kebabs and cheese and, and other bits and pieces. And uh, obviously we had to preserve a lot of our food that we grew. So um, Oma, Gita's mum did that. And then to as some tomatoes and then to store all this stuff, we had to build some new shelves in the basement. And they quickly filled up. We had a, an abundance of produce this year, which um, is a real blessing. So um, the other big project was to renovate and decorate our daughter's room so she could have her own room eventually and this is a huge project you can see there's lots of work to be done we had to replaster around windows and actually the walls were a right state so we had to replaster the walls and the ceiling um, and we had to then decorate it all and um, we all worked together to do that and uh, Nora got involved as well she loved taking part and having a go at the plastering and as you can see here and also having a go at the decorating as well Going 
So it really transformed the room. Um, it's just one photo of kind of how it looks. It's, I didn't take many photos, but it is a real transformation. Of course, we have honey hives here, beehives. So there was honey to harvest, and here's um, Peter's mum taking the caps off um, from the hive frames. And then we put them into a kind of um, a centrifugal spinner. And uh, Nora loves turning the, the centrifuge to, to get the honey out. And we did this two or three times um, this year. And then here's the honey being poured out. Um, first honey earlier in the year is always light, and then the second honey is darker. This is the second honey. I like baking sourdough, so um, I don't tend to bake in the summer, but this year um, we did have a go a couple of times. We um, harvested our own garlic. We have two rows of no dig garlic grown in compost. Um, we had a great harvest. Again, we you know we all got involved in that. Um, this year we had our hugel culture mound, which we planted out with um, sunflowers and pumpkins, and another few bits and pieces, and that really brightened up the area. Also, I grew some cut flowers in the garden. Um, some red beckia there. We had an old dinghy which converted into a seat for an area for seating. Got the smoker built this year, or installed. I built it last year, got it installed this year, and we've used that two or three times. Yeah, and there's some smoked ribs. It was on a previous video. Um, again, harvesting stuff from the garden, some peas and broad beans and um, lots of other bits and pieces, spinach. Onion harvest from onion sets was really good this year. Um, and we had um, butternut squash, it was great, and pumpkins. Oh, there's the onions again, and then on the rack. And um, really enjoy the tomato harvest. Love this breakfast with sliced tomatoes. Um, we helped a friend pick their garlic harvest as well. Um, they're a commercial grower. Enjoyed the amazing skies that we see when the clouds come over sometimes in the summer. Dark clouds with the sun breaking through we started to build a chicken run but kind of abandoned the project um, because we ran out of time and we had other things that were more important my daughter got a new climbing frame for her birthday and of course she started school this year and one of the great things i love about um, our local school is that the older students walk in with the younger students um, great budding up system Lots of celebration for the first day and uh, his daughter, his uh, Nora, telling everyone that she's looking forward to reading, and then we got a cake made by a local baker. Latvians love their cakes. We started preparing firewood for next year, um, and we went cranberry picking just last week. It's an absolute abundance of cranberries on in the, um, the bog marsh in in the forest here. You can see them; they're all there to be picked. Really nice size, and we had a really great harvest. So yeah, that's kind of a whistle-stop tour of lots of the stuff that was going on here. It was been quite a hard year, if I'm honest, um, for various reasons, but um, still we got lots done. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions about what you've seen here, please do leave them in the comments below. I'm sorry it's such a quick video, and I'm sorry I didn't take um, lots of video footage, but um, there we are. That's life. And um, but we had um, we enjoyed doing all these things, and you know we'll. we'll um, benefit from them I guess in time and share other stuff with you as time goes on. So um, thanks for watching the video, I um, hope you enjoyed it, um, do give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.